Hi everyone, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I'm really excited for today's project. It is like ultra simple, like stamps, ink, and paper, but I'm gonna show you how you can still get that wow factor when somebody opens up your card. Um, for every video that I make um, on YouTube here, I've got a corresponding blog post over on my website so that you can um, get the measurements, you can uh, see the list of supplies. You can purchase supplies right from there. Um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I um, demonstrate with all Stampin' Up! products and sell those too. So if you want the cards to look just like mine, you can get those. But a lot of my products, I try to make them so that you can use what you have. And that's one of those cards today. So I'm going to show you how to make this card, but you can kind of go with it and have fun. So, all right, let's get started. <music> So here's our really, really simple uh, note card set. The front, make it very simple so that when they open it up, it is like, wow, this gorgeous bouquet of flowers. So you're gonna wanna start with a really great stamp set. This is one of my absolute, absolute favorites. I'm also gonna pair it with the go-to greetings um, just to use some different sentiments. And all the examples, I'm gonna show you at the end, I'm, I've got a lot of color examples to show you, but then I'm gonna use two other stamp sets and I'm gonna pair them all with the go-to greetings. So those are our stamps. Now for our ink, for the ink, uh, example that we're going to make, I'm going to use Calypso Coral and Pear Pizzazz, but for all of the cards, um, in all the examples, I'm going to use this color palette. Um, and even on the cards that I used other stamp sets, I used all of these same colors. So that's our stamp, our ink, and for our paper, we are actually going to use Stampin' Up's note cards and envelopes. Let me open this here. Um, it comes in a pack of 20 cards and 20 envelopes for $7. I just think that's the best deal. <laughs> um, and this, these note cards are very thick. They are thicker than a regular cardstock, um, which makes them just feel very quality. They come pre-cut and pre-scored. But I am going to add a panel. This is what we're going to stamp on. Um, you could stamp directly on your card if you're using very light colors. So I would not use maybe these. Um, I may maybe stick to that um, because when I um, stamped like those darker colors, I could definitely see a hint coming through and that kind of bothered me. So that's why I'm adding a panel on there. But you can experiment. If you don't feel like cutting, stamp right on there. <laughs> now, one tip I wanted to share with you, if you have a stamp set that um, is called a two-step stamp where you need two different images to create the flowers, um, and in this case, you need three, um, make yourself a little map so that you're not having to figure it out while you're creating. It just makes the experience so much better. <laughs> um, I will have a picture of this on my website, and I also will put it on the print and make project sheet. So this is the project sheet that goes to my email subscribers. I've got uh, all the measurements, some written instructions, uh, the list of supplies. Um, you can find all this information on my website, but if you like it all on one piece of paper, um, you can sign up for my email list and get these uh, in your mail, in your email. So another tip I want to share with you is that when you are a placing flowers down if it has a stem you want to make sure your stem is grounded unless you purposely want your flower to be floating so a lot of times I start and I stamp my flower but then when I go to put my stem on it doesn't reach the bottom and that that just bugs me so for this project especially I am going to start with my stem first and um, I'm not just going to slap it down I'm actually going to um hold my stamp block at an angle, anchor that bottom of the stem, and then just rock your stamp up, and that will get it right where you want it to be. And now you can add your flower to the end of that and not have to worry at all about it being floating out there. So now the outline of that flower I stamped in full strength, but then this one I'm gonna stamp off on my scrap paper and then stamp on there. And you can see that's giving me two tones, giving a lot of depth to that flower, but I'm only having to purchase one, one ink. Now this stamp set comes with <laughs> this little piece, which is actually like critical. It is my favorite uh, little piece out of that stamp set because look, look what happens. You just pop that in there and it just sets that off so perfectly. So now we're gonna add a sentiment 
And um, what I'm gonna do is, I already have the stamp lined up on my block, and honestly, this is too small of a block to use on this stamp set, but I'm, <laughs> but I, my stem is on this one, and I'm too lazy to take it off right now, so. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to check myself on my scrap paper to see if that is gonna line up well, and you can see that it's at an angle. So now I can practice again Oh, it's still at an angle, so I need to rotate it a little more this way. And see, that is perfect. So now, when I go to put it on my paper, I'm more likely to get it right. Yeah, baby. Now, because these come with envelopes, I'm gonna stamp my envelope right away. Um, because a lot of times, I just forget to do it. So I'm gonna put this right now. Now, unlike the the front of my card here. This I want to keep very plain because the wow of when they open it is that the the front is very plain but the inside is really fancy. But on the envelope, I'm going to add some leaves um, whereas I, I left them off on here on purpose. Okay, now our envelope is done. We don't even have to worry about that later. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your note card um, and these are pre-scored. Now, instead of just folding this and just mashing down on the score line, I have ink on my hands that are getting on here. Okay, um, don't mash this down. In this project in particular, it's gonna be very important that this is folded right on the score line because let me show you, if this was not folded on the score line, we're gonna be able to see the stamping underneath here. And because we're stamping all along this bottom edge, and in some cases, uh, you may stamp all the way around, it's gonna be critical that this is folded nice and square. So what you're gonna do is line up your corners together. Feel it with your fingers, look with your hands, double, double check before you press that score line down. And then cover it up with your um, scrap paper and take your bone folder and really press on there to get that nice and straight. There we go. These cards are so thick that look, look how that's popping up even though I really uh, use my bone folder. Yeah, they're just so nice and thick. So we're gonna glue this on here. And now we'll do our inside. So I am going to start with two of my stems because I want these flowers to be up as kind of high as they can. And I wanna point these off my paper because when I stamp my flower, I want that going off the paper. That just makes it so much more interesting. I'm gonna put one more of these flowers. I'm gonna do it kind of in the middle here. Okay, now we'll get our stamp set out because there are two other um, uh, shapes of tulips that I wanna use. So in a stamp set like this where um, you've got lots of images, if you don't have a ton of um, stamp blocks, don't worry about it. Just put your chamois right in there so that you can stamp and put the stamp away and get the next one out. All right, this one also has a little tulip bulb. Now I already see, I kind of made a mistake. Do you see how this is just, these are all the same height. I don't like that. So I'm gonna make sure my little bulb is down low. I was going to put another one, but we'll, maybe we'll add it later. Let's see how it looks. All right, now we'll add some stems. I, didn't, I don't want to add too many flowers because I want to leave room for the leaves. And sometimes it's nice to have a little air going through your flowers. Now you can see I, I have my stems going different directions because I kind of want it to look like the... The wind is blowing and we're in a field of tulips. Now these leaves can be um, used both directions. You can see how I turned that. It's the same with um, this stem. I don't know if you noticed, I depending on which direction you want it to go, you just can uh, stamp it uh, both directions. This also comes with two different leaves. One is more solid. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't add an extra flower. I didn't want it too, too crowded. Now, now here is my favorite part. Look at that. Oh, just love it. So here's our fantastic set. You could leave it just like this. Or if you have a little embellishment you want to put on there, I just thought these little brass butterflies were so cute. I'm going to put two on there, one big one, and then the little one, I'm going to make sure it's going at a different angle so that it looks like they're just flitting, flitting around in the air. Now let me show you some more examples and you guys let me know which one you like best. This one has a black cardstock um, layer underneath and I've got the measurement for that over on my website if you prefer this one. So let me know in the comments, do you like the, the layer or not the layer? This one is uh, Melon Mambo. And here's the envelope. This one is Daffodil Delight, and instead of putting the tulip on the front of the envelope, I put it on the back, and there's the inside. And then one more, here is the uh, Blushing Bride uh, one, and I don't think I showed you the inside of this one. This one I used two colors for the inside, so that just kind of gives you some ideas. Now this set I made with Dragonfly Garden and just did multicolored dragonflies on the inside and had them go all the way around. So if you have a stamp set where you can go all the way around and leaving yourself a little note on the in room for a note on the inside. And the last example, I used a cup of tea and I did similar on the envelope to the inside of the card and just a really plain front. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified the next time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.